what's up? It's Julie and Jeff back with another episode of Metroid Prime. And I'm fighting killer bees everywhere I go in this level. They just won't leave me alone. Oh, wait, that, I was thinking it was a teen thing. Like, oh wait, no, it's uh, Naruto that there's a character killer bee. Yep, killer Which bee. I, I, He's the the eight tails. Yep. He's always rapping. Speaking, yeah, that, isn't that Jet? Huh? Isn't that the same voice actor as Jet? Yeah, he's the voice actor that played Jet Black. Cowboy and Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. If you guys, if, if anybody watching this video, if you guys are all fans of Cowboy Bebop, we Tell love us. you. Cowboy Bebop is one of our favorites. Oh, yeah. And we've met. We've we met actually Spike. got to meet Steve Bloom uh, at the, what was was that? That was at New York Comic yeah, Con, uh, wasn't it? New York I believe Comic that was Con. New York Comic Con 2015, because I think yes. that was the same year... That I met Masashi Kishimoto. Yes, it is. I need to know what the what this exclamation point is here for. It's been here every. It's been here, like since I killed this boss in here. No, it was even before the boss. Yeah, actually, 2016 was probably the shittiest year for me. Let's see. I'm going through here. You can continue yeah. your story. Well, no, just um. Jeff, bless his cotton socks, made sure I had a good time at the convention, because I had a difficult family time. And I got a hug from uh, Alan Tudyk, fangirl for a while. But yeah, aside from all the miserable, unavoidable stuff that had to happen, um, it was still a good con. You want to tell them about the train ride? Or was that the previous year? Uh, I think that was this year. Wait, the which, which issue? <laughs> the, the stinky kid or uh, crazy bitch? Both. Why not? All right, um... Well, actually, um, in 2015, Jeff stayed late, and um, I have bad anxiety. So, I ended up um, having to take the train home by myself, and I'm panicking, because I'm always worried I'm going to get lost or get on the wrong train. I ended up meeting someone that worked with... Small freaking world, she worked with my mom. Hmm. So, um, she kept me calm, and we talked, and we giggled and everything. And then, um... So, the Metro North always seems to screw up. I don't know why, but it's always an issue with the train. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I've noticed that too. So, um, it was like midnight, and my sister's like texting me like, I'll send my boyfriend to come get you from Bridgeport if you need it. You know, I know you... Because the next day my friend was getting married, and it's like, shit, um, I promised I'd be there, and I need to get there. And so, um... Luckily, they had a bus to uh, my town, and the drop. It didn't want to go to the station, so I got dropped off like right by my door. So now here, let me just. I was dressed as Sheena. Can you you can put in pictures, right? Uh, no. Damn. I don't have a good editor program yet. Yeah. Spider ball augmentation required. Okay. What the fuck is a spider ball? I don't have that. Spider ball, spider ball, does whatever a spider ball does. Anyways, um. I'd also like to mention I have the attention span of a gym sock. But, um, I'm dressed as team, uh, Sheena from Tales of Symphonia. Uh, black leggings, uh, pink sleeveless top, pink, uh, I'm sorry, purple sleeveless top, purple sleeves, black long sleeves underneath, and a giant pink bow on my ass. I'm not affiliated with shit. So I'm going into the gate to that get to my... pretty obvious, too. Well, that now is just half... I had that con zombie look of like, uh... so. I'm trying to get into that space there, but I don't think I can. You can do it. Oh, there we go. I got it. I'm realizing I'm kind of rambling, but um, so well, I get we ramble a lot. Yeah, but hopefully everyone enjoys our little witty banter. But so um, I'm just opening the gate and I hear, "Excuse me, um, yes, um, did you just come from the uh, did you just come from the train? Like, well, the." The line is down right now. I see a thing. Do the thing. I can't get to it. But so, um, I think it's right behind it. Nope. But so, um, I said, oh, well, I just got off the train. Yeah, the, uh, the train is down right now, so they're doing buses. Nobody told me. Ma'am, I'm really sorry, but, um, there's, I'm sorry they didn't tell you. Well, what are you going to do about it? What? I have places to go. Ma'am, I'm really sorry, but I, I don't drive, and I can't get myself. I don't care. They You didn't tell them to come pick me up. Ma'am, I didn't know you were there. It's, it was like 12.30. I've been up since... Not at all your job. No, it's of or course... Or responsibility. No, everything's my job in some places. But um, 
What time did we get up that morning? Uh, like, not, not even nine. We got up at like six in the morning, I think. Yeah, we caught like the... Okay, so that means I got up at five. This looks like a, like a church kind of area no, in here. Like I don't know, beehive. these walls look kind of church-like. It looks like a beehive. But so, um, I've been up since five because... Ooh, another energy tank. Wow. These are good. I, I try to put a lot of effort into my costume and doing my hair and makeup and everything. I had clip on bangs because I don't have bangs. I just have long hair. So I'm up at five. I've been up since five. I'm starving. My Because you don't... Here's a tip for all cosplayers. Um, Don't eat the con food. It's especially in New York. It's expensive, but it's good depending on what food you got. Dude, I'm not... I dropped like 20 bucks on three chicken strips and a handful of fries when they told me it was only going to be like eight bucks so and I refused to pay of course but um but so yeah um pack a sandwich maybe go outside the con to grab like a quick burger from McDonald's or something like that's one of our saving graces is um we hit for the convention we hit Dunkin Donuts on the way up and um on the way home we hit like Burger King McDonald's where which wasn't it like last year? Like I just like sat down and devoured in front of you guys and didn't even give a shit. Yeah. It wasn't it like Saturday? I was really feeling it too. Was it, was it Saturday or Sunday? I was like just done. Saturday, I think. No, I. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it was Sunday because we were both really overheated, and I'm the one that didn't puke this time. And then I also. I bought you new shoes. Huh? I bought you your new shoes. No, you haven't. Yes, I did. Oh. Forgot already? Dude, I've been up since like six. I lifted heavy shit. I dealt with literal vultures. And you're an acid. Damage, damage. But um But I'm getting close to the exclamation point objective, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, just don't burn the piss out of yourself. But so um anyways, back to this crazy woman. So she's just basically yammering on about I have to bring her home because I being psychic, apparently, um, did not tell the guy. I never knew you worked for Metro North. You gotta hook me up and get me a job with them. Fuck, dude, I would be giving myself free passes to New York all the time. But anyways, um, so, fine, like, I'm getting really nervous and I'm tired and hungry and about to cry. Which my awesome boyfriend, um, I had two cans of soup waiting for me and I ate them all and my boyfriend was just... I've also learned, like, I really don't drink that often, but, um, I do drinking very, very bad. Um, I guess you're supposed to be, like, sick to your stomach when you're hungover. Oh, God, I'm... You're gonna die. I'm melting. Yeah. I'm melting. So, um, I guess you're supposed to be sick to, to your stomach and not want to look at anything. Um, the last time I drank, I ate two cans of soup. Um... A muffin and a bagel with bacon and sausage. I think I fail at drinking. <laughs> but so yeah, um, so my boyfriend comes out with Moxie, my giant dog, and she doesn't see her. She just hears this deep baritone, woof! Which you probably are all hearing in the background. No, she's more squeaky. There we go. But no, it, she sounded pissed. And she probably was with her owner, owner being hassled. Oh yeah, Moxie's like, Mom, someone's fucking with Mommy, I must kill them. So the woman books at seeing Moxie. Which again, my dog is a giant sweet goober. Another oh, safe another point? save point. Ah. Okay. Maybe we should call this another episode. Well, me, I, I don't guess know how me, long it's been. I guess I'll finish this. Well, then yeah, I'm you just... Can finish your story first. Well yeah, just the end of the story is she ran off and Moxie ripped the bow off my ass. And then I ate two cans of soup and passed out. And with that, this has been Julie. And Jeff. And don't forget to like... Crypto Nightmare, share our videos, subscribe to us, and check us out either on Facebook at Crypto Nightmare or at our Facebook group, Society of Gamers. We'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Bye. Bye.